I'm trying to get this bus sticker off today. And then in the next hour, I'm gonna go to Mike's house and he's gonna help me get these floors out. And then after that, I'm gonna go to Home Depot so I can get paint so I can paint the bus. So that's the agenda for today. Welcome to the bus bill. totally took over and made it better and made sure that they were nice and turned off then he went above and just cut off the hoses right here and yeah so we went ahead and spilled a little bit but we caught most of it in this little cup right here and then he took it out to go drain and yeah now my heater's gone uh, he's even removing those super hard to get tight screws off the wheel well trimming so that's awesome all of that is gone 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 so is this flooring. It's about to be gone. And he also got me some water and a cute little golf cup. So nice. And it has ice. Anyways, yeah, hopefully we can get this floor removed in the next hour or so. Who knows? Let's go. We just have that last little section in the back. But I am just loving how nicely everything is coming along Yay. hey guys welcome back so yesterday as you saw we removed all of the wood flooring and we started on the walls as well so mike is an angel a saint and he let me borrow the air compressor, which is amazing. So hopefully I can knock out the walls and perhaps even the ceiling today. I definitely am not an expert when it comes to the air compressor or really any tool for that matter. So I'm gonna have to go by Home Depot anyway to grab some sanding paper and other things. So I'm gonna ask them for help on how to use this thing because the hose is not connecting. I don't understand, but yeah, I feel like it's not my fault. We'll fix it. So for now, we're gonna angle grind out those screws and get her done. Alrighty, so the angle grinding and the cleaning was finished for the floors. Um, I went ahead and pried up this front area wood as well. And I was gonna remove it completely, but it actually has a lot of like gaps that go through to the bottom of the ground and I didn't want to drive and have like rocks just hit me in the face or something so I just left that there for now but it is pried off and ready to go so um just got back from Home Depot where I bought some cleaning supplies and things for the floor and for the outside of the bus um I also bought the sandpaper so I could sand it down and fillers for the holes in the back so the next step is to fill in those holes I also had an amazing associate help me his name was Keith shout out to keith bro he was amazing super helpful he wasn't having the best day but he was still super kind and friendly and helped me in the end and i can't thank him enough so thanks keith i appreciate it you're helping me with this build which is much appreciated okay guys so a little update um was working on the walls with the air compressor but then it started just blowing like regular air i guess it needed some time to build up but then I gave it a second and it's on auto so it'll turn off when the pressure is good and then I did it again and it's like water is coming out it's weird and leaky so I don't know what to do so I gave it a break what I did was I went through with my angle grinder and it has the Dewalt cup wire brush and this thing is amazing it was like $11 on Amazon and it shipped in a day great little handy piece I'll show you what it did so my floors were already pretty awesome, no rust or anything like that, but I just went through, you can see where the brush kind of like went in circles and got up tiny little areas just to be 100% clean and good to go. Then I gave it a good sweep. I used the vacuum a little bit. And then in here I have some all-purpose cleaner for floors and a little sponge. And I'm gonna go through, clean up the corners, clean up the railings and make it look nice and clean. Get it ready for that. Rust-Oleum. 
Okay, so this is what I have been doing. I have my caulking slash sealant here. It is the tub and tile uh, advanced silicone. It lasts up to 10 years without molding. I'm trying to get you the label here. Here we go. It's five times stronger than the other one that I was going to get. They really get me with these labels, like 40 more, 40 times more flexible, which is perfect because we're going to be moving a lot. So we need flexibility and all these other awesome things. And I just filled all the holes with that. And for the bigger ones, I'm getting like quarters and pennies and such. I really got to fill that big one over there. I didn't do as much as I'd like. Again, the air compressor was being weird. So we'll try that again tomorrow, but success. So yesterday I went ahead and filled up the back area. I washed the floors back here and got them all ready to go for sealant. So I went ahead and closed up all the holes. Um, I didn't use any pennies or any type of extra protection. It's just straight sealant. It is straight up tub and tile filler. So I filled each hole and then filled on top of that with extra sealant. And to me, they're pretty darn in there. Like, I was thinking of going back with pennies, but there's no way anything's getting through that. So, I'm pretty happy with the results. I still need to buy bigger pieces of metal to fill the holes like that. And yeah, we just need to finish the other half of the bus. But today's project is definitely the walls and the ceiling. I just really wanna get that done so I can then move on to the floor project. So I found out why the air compressor was leaking and Mike told me that it needs to be drained and there's like a little valve at the bottom. And then I YouTubed how to do that. And so now we're just going to drain out our compressor and hopefully that'll stop it from leaking and stop it from just blowing air because I need it. <laughs> Okay, so I cannot get this outside outlet to open. Like it has a little case over it and I cannot open it back up. So that to me says move on to something else you can do. So I went ahead and grabbed my little filler kit for the outer body. Oh my gosh, I'm tripping on everything. So what I got to fill the holes on the outside was the All Purpose Putty by Brondo. Yeah, it's paintable, it's permanent, non-shrinking. And maybe I should have, okay, yeah. And it repairs metals, woods, drywalls, concrete, and masonry surfaces. I think that's how you say it. Anyways, it came with a freaking cream hardener, which kind of annoys me because I myself went out and bought like a whole thing of cream hardener. So we'll see if we need it. If not, just take it back. And yeah, these are going to be the tools we need today. So you will need your putty, cream hardener, a little moving tool I guess this is a spatula for paint but it's plastic and it's very easy to clean so it's very spreadable as well as a spreader that's what I'm using it as then I got this little cup a little one quart cup to put my stuff in and mix I have no idea what the proper measurements are. I could have read. I could have looked up the directions and instructions and persecuted them correctly, but I did not. Went ahead and just eyeballed it because that's what I like to do. But it looks pretty good. Looks putty consistency and it looks like it'll fill the holes I need it to fill. So I went in with some 80 grit sandpaper and tried to just sand up the whole sides a little bit didn't work out very well so we're just gonna go ahead and go in with our satin clear enamel it's just rust-oleum I got everything rust-oleum because that's just the brand I'm going with I trust them they feel right <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray all the holes that have like rust on them maybe just all the holes in general and then we'll go over it with the putty no idea how well you're supposed to shake this I should really read directions y'all Yeah, I got bored. It feels like a good amount of shaking. Yeah, that feels right. Get this one over here.
Okay, so I went around and hit all the holes with the Rust-Oleum enamel spray. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I hit it with two coats. And once that dries a little bit, then I'll probably go with my putty. So I feel like I pre-mixed this. Yeah, it's very hard now. Yeah, I definitely just had a learning moment. That's what I'm gonna call it, instead of a dumb moment. And I most definitely put the creamer in too early, so it hardened very quickly. But now I know. This stuff is gonna be legit. Like, this is like a freaking rock. Okay, so just an update. I am removing the walls, coming along great. Um, I was almost done with this side when the last set of rivets were just super non-cooperative. So we're just gonna get back to that later. On the other hand, I started on this wall and it's just been going perfectly. And some of the rivets are actually extremely easy to get out. Like it'll take like a couple of, bloop, 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 you know, a couple of hits from the air hammer and it's good. Okay guys, so I'm losing daylight, but I really wanted to get something else done. So I ripped off the remainder, the remainder of the walls? The remaining walls, I guess. And um, there's still one that's kind of stuck on there. I'm gonna get my angle grinder in a sec and just shave that off. But besides that, I also wanted to get the grill done today. So I used some painter's tape and went through and covered everything that I didn't want painted, obviously. Now I'm just going to sand it down, wipe it off, and paint. So yeah, that'll be the next step. Kind of just hit up the lights, went around the edges here, got my symbol, and all over here as well. And then I don't know why I did this, but that's done. My heat gun also came in today, which is lit, so I can take off the school bus sign later. Okay, so since it gets dark around 9, I was able to keep working on the bus. It is now almost 10, and I am finished for the day. This is where we ended. Painting the front black, and it's beautiful. So hopefully it dries nicely overnight. I was trying to clean off some paint that I got on the driveway, and I got water on the paint that is drying, and I tried to smooth it out. I don't know if that helped it or made it worse, but we shall see come morning. So see you guys in the morning. Appreciate you watching. And yeah, let's see what tomorrow looks like.